Hello, hello. How are you? Well, just in case you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa Marie Grantham, and I am the founder of the Goddess Lifestyle Plan. It's a proprietary system I created years ago that helps spiritually open women design their goddess lifestyle. And for those women who are ready to create their online business and uh, really have a lot of, I really specialize with women who have a lot of passion and a lot of certifications. So that is so me. And uh, I really work, love working with women that have all these different holistic certifications. And they're like, Lisa, how do I make this into a cohesive brand? It's kind of like my specialty, although I'm a kick-ass business coach in any realm, uh, I, if I do dare to toot my own horn. Uh, but welcome, welcome. I wanted to talk to you today uh, about the magic of releasing what no longer serves. I also made a big promise that I was going to be doing more Facebook Lives and showing up more. It is my absolute promise that I am going to be uh, going live twice a week at least. Uh, I've made this powerful decision. My coach calls it a powerful decision. So uh, it's it's not still not comfortable for me. I'm like not sure when to go live. When can people join me? Do people even love it? I don't know. So what I would love so much is if I'm if I'm saying something that you're resonating with and it makes a lot of sense to you and you're like, you know, you could give me praise hands, you could give me hearts, you could give me likes, uh, but just let me know. Let me know that what I'm saying serves you and that you really love what we're talking about. Of course, I love to interact with you, so feel free to chat with me. I have the chat going on the side and, you know, and I'll do my best. I'll do my best to answer everything and I'm always uh, welcoming of questions. If you have a question for me about goddess lifestyle or magical living or even building an online business, that's what I'm here for, uh, to, to really be of service. So ah, so I, I see that a bunch of you are joining me, so I'm really excited about that. I'm, I'm like, when are the, when's the sweet spot for Facebook Lives? I'm not sure. So I've been all over the place. And for those of you who saw my post that said, I'm going live at 6 o'clock, and then I changed it to 5 o'clock, and when do I show up? 5.15? I so apologize. Uh, I'm trying to figure this out, uh, the, the proper timing, but we got in a little bit late from our erranding and I had to freshen up. You know, I want to look my best for you. What can I say? Um, so what do I love so much about living magically? And working with nature. I feel like it, I believe it is the uh, very best personal growth, spiritual growth trajectory one can be on. Uh, we can look to nature and her rhythms and pretty much constantly be working on our lives, uh, bet bettering our lives, improving uh, ourselves, healing ourselves, uh, working on who we are and who we desire to be. All you need to do is really look outside your window. And I'll explain a little bit more about what that means. So the fall, the autumn, if you look outside, you will see that the trees are beginning to release their leaves. And that, you know, magical living for me is very symbolic. And I found that as well when I look into the world religions and all of that, spirituality, religion, belief systems in general can be very, very symbolic. So when you're looking outside in nature, symbolically, the leaves are releasing releasing to the ground, the releasing what no longer serves. Yes, the trees are, and shrubs are releasing their leaves because they're not going to need them when they go into their winter slumber. So when I look at that symbolically, I look to myself and say, well, Lisa, what needs to fall away so that you can evolve into the next healthy and powerful version of you possible? And I just, I have my notes here, you know, if you've been with me a while, you know, I'm a proper Virgo. I just love to make sure I get everything I want to say about this topic out for you. So for me, even though it's hot as hell here, and, and this is the thing, ladies, I've, I've born and raised in New York, so on Long Island, and we had four distinct seasons. I'll admit the last like 10 years, some of the seasons just kind of ran into each other, but there was four distinct seasons. When it was winter, there was snow and it was friggin' cold. And when it was spring, it was starting to warm up and you know, there would be spring and I'd be planting flowers. Summer was hot as shit. And then fall was awesome. 
the, the, the humidity went away, the crispy air came in, and there was very, very distinct seasons, which made it easier, in my opinion, the world according to Lisa, to, to really live magically and live in, you know, in alignment with nature's rhythms for this work. Now I live in Southwest Florida, if you haven't heard already, and I'll complain yet again, it is hot like an inferno down here right now. And I've been talking a lot about it with my with my husband, who is constantly telling me that I'll get over it, and my blood will thin, and all the things, and I and I just better get over it because he doesn't like the cold at all. But I really like the cold. I like the crispy air. I especially love the fall. It's my favorite season, and it is so so hot here. And interestingly enough, I had a memory pop up on Facebook uh, two days ago, and it was from a year ago, and it said, "Oh my God, it's so friggin' hot here. It's like an inferno." So I'm laughing. I don't remember from year to year how hot September and October is down here. And I was talking with my daughter this morning and Shannon this morning because I was like, I am so ready for some crispy air. And I think it's because my entire life, all 52 years of it, has been September and October are cooling off. Like that is what I'm accustomed to in my mind, in my, in, in, in my cells of my body. I'm like, it's supposed to be cooling off right now. And I go outside and it's like, especially like mid afternoon, like right now. Oh my God. So hot. It, I said it was like a magnifying glass with the sun. And so it's a little bit harder for me to really get in flow with the different seasons because Southwest Florida has two seasons, hot or hotter. So that is a little bit of a struggle for me, although I make it work. So if you live in a place where maybe you don't get a true winter or a true fall or a true spring, for me, it's summer or, or like, you know, hot as Hades. So it's, it's, it's a little bit difficult. But the fall, symbolically, the autumn, is about releasing what no longer serves you, your highest good right? When we talk about building a goddess lifestyle, it's all about you. It's all about you and your life experience. If you've watched some of my previous uh, lives, I said selfish is a fantastic word. It's one of my most favorite words. It is a word that is, I think, has a negative vibe to it culturally. But truth be told is selfish is, is basically just being concerned with your own agenda. And in order to really truly create your unique goddess lifestyle, whatever that looks like for you, you have to be willing and ready to be selfish. It's not going to be easy, though. You know, going from like, let's I'll use me as an example, from a people pleaser to a codependent people pleaser. And then all of a sudden being like, I'm creating my goddess lifestyle. And you know what? No to you and no to that and no to that. Very hard. And then there's blowback. But. I will tell you, on the other side of it, everybody gets used to it, everything gets all rearranged and realigned, and everybody gets over it, and those who love you still love you. And, you know, the truth of the matter is, is that we teach people how to treat us by our boundaries, what we say yes to, what we say no to, how we treat ourselves. So I'm going to invite you. It's something I say all the time. Be very concerned with your own agenda. Be very concerned with your own happiness and health. Be very concerned with it. Be very selfish about it. Whatever that looks like, it's a really tough thing for most women. However, I am very loving. Those of you who know me know I'm extremely loving. I'm extremely kind. However, I have I have wicked boundaries around things. And let me tell you, sometimes I even slip up because that's part of the empowerment process. We go back to these default behaviors of wanting everybody. Like my thing was, I just want everybody to be happy. If everybody would be happy, then I'd be happy. Can anybody else relate to that? If my children were all happy, then I'd be happy. I had three kids. There was no way one decision was making all three kids happy. So I found myself miserable a lot of the time, just feeling like a total failure. Um, you, you, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Anne Margaret. And you know it firsthand, right? You were with me for the whole journey. But it's really about coming home to who you are as a woman. The goddess lifestyle plan is about you discovering your unique goddess life recipe. That's what I call it because every woman has a unique combination of ingredients that create this goddess life 
recipe. Like what makes you happy? And the great thing about a goddess lifestyle is it evolves with you. When I had young children, my goddess lifestyle looked one way. And as my children grew and, and got more independent and I had more sovereignty in my own life because of it, I was able to evolve my goddess lifestyle. The ingredients changed. And now that I live on a tropical island, I don't love travel as much anymore. I really love being home. In parentheses, not loving the heat. Not loving the heat in the mid afternoon because I just I don't want to I don't want to seem like I'm I'm not congruent. Like I love it here. It's like being on a tropical island, but tropical islands get hot. And I don't care where I would be in the world if it's hot. I'm not happy in those hours. I need some air conditioning. I need some fans blowing, which I did put it on. Thank goodness, because I'd be pouring sweat right now for you all. Um, but so that's what I want you to think about when we. And, and I got off on a little bit of a tangent, but we're really coming back to that it's fall right now. So those of you, my friends up in New York right now, I know you're watching this. You're in the midst of this beautiful, crispy fall weather. You can really embody it, feel it. So I love that. Even per buying pumpkins here feel, felt weird because it's, it still feels like summer, right? There's palm trees and, and we're having record highs of 90 degrees. But those of you who are really enjoying the cooler weather, I invite you to start tapping into nature and looking to nature to take your cues on how to work on empowering and healing yourself. It's one of the things that we work on in my inner circle group, the Goddess Lifestyle Sisterhood. I am going to do a shameless plug just really quick, and then we're going to get to how you could begin releasing. So the, the, it is a membership. It is a monthly membership with me. You will have me as your guide and your mentor, as well as a global sisterhood of, of really amazing women. We circle for new moon and full moon. We work on these different seasonal aspects of of, of what, what, what are we working on right now? Right now in the sisterhood, we're working on releasing what no longer serves. Next month, it's gonna be shadow work, a really important process for transformation and empowerment and spiritual and personal growth in any woman's life. Um, you're able to do it with me as your guide and in this amazing group of women. There's a lot of bells and whistles in there. I'm not gonna make this, this is not about a salesy thing because it's not even open for enrollment right now. I just want you to be aware it exists. If you're finding yourself like maybe you've lost your sparkle, that every day seems like Groundhog Day, you do not feel fulfilled, you're interested in um, holistic topics or mystical esoteric topics, um, this is the place for you to really grow and expand. The doors will be open again uh, for, for winter solstice, which is December, but I put a link up top that you, if you're interested even remotely, you can put yourself on the interest list, and when the doors open for enrollment, you will be the first to know, and then you can figure out, is this my next right step? So it's absolutely no obligation to put yourself on the interest list. You'll just be aware when it opens if you don't catch my marketing um, push. But so now to the magic of releasing what no longer serves. Every year of my life, I release what no longer serves. What does that look like? People. I release certain people. Every one of us has people in our life that bring us down. Every one of us does. What that might look like is just straight friggin' toxic, or it could look like a person that is a downer. Like every time you're like inspired by something, they're like, yeah, but that won't work. They're, they're shooting holes in all your big dreams and desires and ideas. These people are not good for you, okay? The only type of people that are in my life are supportive people. Now, I'm not saying you should just go amputating. That's not what I'm saying here. Eventually, when your vibration, and it's going into a deep concept that I'm not going to go deep into on this particular Facebook Live, but vibrations usually match. So the minute your vibration starts to match, you won't be a good match or alignment for somebody who's a real turd or a downer in your life. And they'll just kind of go away on their own. Um, that's what happened in my previous marriage. You know, I kept working on myself and he was just a turd and we just didn't, we were not on the same, same vibrational wavelength anymore and goodbye, he left. And a lot of times that will happen. And I, you know, it was, it was scary at first and it was, it was shocking, but it's, it was such a blessing. And that's my point. So sometimes things hurt, but they're really for our highest good in the long run. 
So I don't think you should be going all this, the next two months going and amputating all these relationships in your life. That is not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying that if somebody is, you know, is not good for you, not good for your body, mind, and spirit health, begin to put a little distance between you and that person, a little healthy space. What that might look like is like, stop telling them everything you're dreaming of doing. My point, that's why, honestly, that's why I started the Goddess Lifestyle Sisterhood. I don't, I had nobody to talk to in my life about the things I dreamed about, the things I thought, the things I was interested in. I really didn't have a circle of my friends, my, my close friends and my family didn't want to talk about crystals and astrology and personal growth and spiritual growth and, and all these things. So I started, but so find yourself people, whether it's, you know, the sisterhood group or someone else, find them, but stop talking to the people who every time you tell them something you're excited about, they fucking take the wind out of your sails. Just stop doing that, please. It is going to stop you and block you because the truth is they're going to put that niggle of like doubt in there. Like maybe this isn't a good idea. Listen, if you've had an idea or an inspiration, I promise you that comes from source. That comes from divine, divine intelligence. So you should go with it and stop letting people in your life talk you out of shit. You should always be evolving and you want to surround yourself with people that see you're capable of that and can see you stepping into that. And even if they're not sure you could do it, cheer you on anyway, because that's what you want. That's what you want. So shouldn't we be surrounded with people who want what we want for us? I say yes. I really say yes. So that's number one. Just start to create some healthy space around the people that are not in alignment with who you want to be and stop telling them all the things. Start keeping stuff a little closer to your chest, you know? We want to keep our desires, our heartfelt desires, a little close to our chest and only share them, you know, have discernment around who you're sharing them with. So we can let those toxic relationships kind of fall away a little bit, right? Put that healthy space. Also, what habits or thought processes, like those looping thought processes are constantly going on in your head, perhaps we, you have to have an intervention with those. Like toxic habits, take a look, like am I, am I doing things in my lifestyle or in what I'm doing during my day that are, that are supporting my vision for who I, who I want to be, the woman I want to be, and the life I want to experience? Are these lifestyle habits in alignment with that? If it's not, if your answer is no, then now is the time to start allowing those, those, those really non-serving habits and looping thoughts to fall away. There's ways to do that. There are processes. Again, I'm not going to go into that in this Facebook Live. Things like that are really... I kind of I kind of save all that really good stuff for my inner circle group, the Goddess Lifestyle Sisterhood. You know I love you, but you know... I do as much as I can here for free. I really do. Number three, I want to also mention that we're getting ready for the winter season. Following nature, winter is all about after you release what no longer serves. In winter, you go inward. It's about inner reflection, rejuvenation, and rest. I'm talking about maybe even, it, yes, physical rest, but, but I'm talking about soul level rest. Like you go inward and you start really resting and nurturing and rejuvenating, sort of like the, the seed under the ground before it sprouts in the spring, you know? And you wanna really take that time in the winter. So in order for us to have that, we have to put some distance between the toxic people in our life, the toxic behaviors, the toxic thoughts, so that we can really utilize the season of winter to rest and rejuvenate and, and have reflective thinking like in like really inner reflection think about what do i want how did this past year go right because winter is all about going through the holiday season and then our brand new baby year actually i think it's a brand new baby decade 2020 ladies it's time your time is now your time is not when the kids are grown when i'm at the weight i feel my best at when the money's better. It's not then. Your time is now. And you can begin to create your goddess lifestyle. Now, without a lot of time, with having obligations of raising children, with maybe money's tight. You can do it. You can do it all. You really can. Maybe not balls to the walls, 
but you can get it going. You can get it going. All right, let me check a look here in my notes. Also, I would absolutely love it if you let me know where you're watching from. I always love that. And if you're watching on replay, let me know in the comments you're watching on replay. Because like I said, I'm really trying to figure out when's the best time to hang out with everybody and have a really good live um, live attendance. So I was thinking maybe like the guys might be watching football. So maybe, <laughs> maybe you, got, you gals might be on Facebook. I don't know. But that's what I was thinking. But I do love those hearts. Always keep them coming because I know what I'm say, saying is serving you. Any aha moments. I love to see them in the chat. And I definitely would love to know when you're watching on replay. Just let me know. Replay. That's awesome. Um, it's about insights so that I could get a good handle on, on who's watching when. And then I could do more of it to serve you. So what else did I want to say about this? Does anybody have anything to add? I'd love to hear your thoughts on living in, a, in, in, a, in an alignment and in, and in harmony with nature and nature's rhythms, like what's going on. You know, I love to do that with um, on a macro level, which is, which is like the seasons, and then a micro level. Uh, we, could, we could bring it down really, really small. It's a very interesting kind of concept that I work off of, and it's like the macro of the season. So there is energetic and personal growth, spiritual growth work to be done all four seasons, you know, winter, spring, summer, and fall. And then when, when you work on a more micro uh, level, you're dealing with the moon phases, right? Every, every month you have a lunar, lunar phases that you can work with. And then you could even take it down smaller and work with the phases of the micro, micro, like the day, every day. Like the dawn is like the spring if you look at it that way. And then 12 noon is like uh, the summer, right? It's the pinnacle. And then of course, the late afternoon, early evening is like fall, you're powering down. And then the uh, while you're sleeping is like winter. It's like you go inward, you're resting, rejuvenating for the next day, right? So it's so cool. And I absolutely love it. So I'd love to know if you had any aha moments. If you want to let me know what you're releasing, this fall, working on that. Um, definitely, I would say um, to begin now, for sure, like really taking a look at my life. Like, is it where I want it to be? What thoughts, habits, people need to fall away a little bit? Take a look at these things. These Those things create your life experience. And it's important. It's important you love it. It's important you enjoy it. it you, it's important that you feel high vibrational in it. And the stuff we're letting fall away is all that lower vibrational muckety muck that who needs it? Who needs it, right? All right, my love. So that is what I was talking about today. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to go have dinner with my love in a few minutes. And again, I absolutely adore you. And if you feel called to check it out, jump on that interest list for the Goddess Lifestyle Sisterhood. We'll be opening up the doors around winter solstice. That's around the 21st of December. We'll be, we'll be uh, opened up for enrollment then. All right? Love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.